Look up on a winter night. Find Orion the hunter. That brilliant red jewel on his shoulder? That's Betelgeuse. And it's incomprehensibly massive that if you placed it where our sun sits, it would swallow Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, and reach all the way to Jupiter's orbit. Everything you've ever known, everyone who's ever lived, every planet in the inner solar system engulfed. This red supergiant is around 700 times wider than our sun and weighs about 15 solar masses. To put that in perspective, light would take over three hours to circle Betelgeuse just once. For comparison, light needs only about 14 seconds to circle our sun. And here's what makes it even more bizarre. Betelgeuse isn't a distant, stable sphere. It's turbulent and chaotic. Its surface roils with convection cells comparable to the size of Earth's orbit. Vast plumes of gas, larger than the sun itself, rise from its surface before collapsing back down. But Betelgeuse wasn't always a monster. Around 10 million years ago, it was born inside a stellar nursery, a vast cloud of hydrogen and dust collapsing under its own gravity. For millions of years, it lived fast and hot, shining intensely as it fused hydrogen into helium at a furious pace. Here's the cruel irony of stellar evolution. The bigger the star, the shorter its life. Our sun will shine for billions of years. Betelgeuse? Its entire lifetime spans only a few million. Massive stars burn their fuel at an extreme rate. If our sun sips its hydrogen through a straw, Betelgeuse drinks through a fire hose. When the hydrogen in its core was exhausted, something remarkable happened. The core contracted and heated up, igniting helium and forging heavier elements like carbon and oxygen. The star expanded, cooled, and turned red. Today, Betelgeuse has entered the final stages of stellar evolution. Deep in its core, complex nuclear processes are reshaping the star from the inside out. Its future is already written in the laws of physics. So what happens if and when Betelgeuse goes supernova? First, let's address the fear. We're safe. At roughly 650 light years away, Betelgeuse is far enough to give us a spectacular show without any danger. At first, it would appear as a new point of light in Orion growing noticeably brighter over days. At its peak, Betelgeuse could rival the brightness of the full moon, visible even during the day, casting faint shadows at night. A constellation humans have recognized for thousands of years would be permanently transformed. The show would last for weeks, maybe months. Imagine stepping outside in the middle of the night and seeing this, and then, slowly, the light would fade but it wouldn't vanish. For months or even years, Betelgeuse would remain visible as an expanding cloud of gas and dust, a supernova remnant, a ghostly signature written across space. Here's where things get truly interesting. In late 2019, Betelgeuse began dimming dramatically losing more than 60% of its apparent brightness. The astronomy world took notice. Telescopes around the globe turned toward Orion. Scientists observed, debated, and theorized. Some wondered whether this could be a sign of something much larger. The media ran with it. For months, Betelgeuse was everywhere. Then, just as suddenly, it brightened again. The star was stable, for now. So what happened? Research suggests Betelgeuse expelled a massive plume of material from its surface, essentially a stellar sneeze. As this material cooled, it formed dust that briefly blocked our view of the star. Combined with natural brightness variations caused by stellar pulsations, it created the perfect storm of dimming. But here's the unsettling part. 
That event revealed how complex and unpredictable massive, evolved stars can be. Betelgeuse is dynamic, chaotic, and still changing in ways we're trying to understand. The dimming was a false alarm, but also a reminder. When the real event begins, it may unfold faster than we expect. The truth is, we don't know. Betelgeuse could go supernova tonight while you sleep. It could happen a thousand years from now. Or it may have already happened, and the light simply hasn't reached us yet. That's the strange thing about looking at stars. You're always looking into the past. The Betelgeuse you see tonight might already be gone, its final light still racing toward us through the cosmic dark. But whenever it happens, humanity will witness something no generation has seen in modern times. A supergiant star going supernova, bright enough to shine during the day, transforming the night sky forever. Betelgeuse is nearing the end of its journey, and we are watching, waiting, knowing that somewhere in the universe, a star is approaching its final moment. The question isn't if, it's when. And maybe, that's the most beautiful part of all. Thank you for watching, and if you like this video, please share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and support us.